Hello, hello, no excuses, ladies. Episode number six. I know it's a change of time, and I still hope that some of you will manage and come on. If not, I know this, that you will be replaying this later. Many of you send me messages that you guys hop on board later and you watch it, which is great. So welcome. I have someone with me. Ita, hello. How are you? Ita is with Zoom on me. Hello. How are you? You you are muted. Okay, awesome. So we can have the Q's and A later on. I am I have to tell you, I'm always so excited coming on board here. Even though there's not that many of you, but I'm just so excited because I I just do this out of my heart and I try to help as many people as possible. And this is something that I absolutely love to do. So today we're going to continue about the habits. I know that the habits is such a, a big topic, a broad topic. There is a little tons of books have been written about habits. And there is nothing best as you go through your life and you actually experience certain habits or things that you've had struggle with or maybe things that you wanted to implement and more conscious, more aware you are about your own self, how you act, how do you do certain things. At the end of the, the, the day, how, uh, how the debrief goes, more things you can apply and change. That's why in the very beginning, we did that debrief that you're supposed to be pretty much doing every single day. You don't need to post this on the page, but do this for yourself. And you're going to start catching yourself with certain things. You might even add on this debrief. This is just an idea. Remember, this is just an idea of a debrief. But why we did that? Because it gives you more thought of the day. And finding out the victories that you have done of things that maybe you missed on or maybe things that you messed up or maybe the habits that you've been repeating and you wanted to change. Because think about it. Like our life can be a series of habits, right? Things that we constantly do. Some of the habits are really uncontrollable. They come from the nature. Certain ones are being just learned based on our life, based on the things that we do, right? That's why if you've never done the habits, if you've never watched the habits, watch the previous episodes. Today, I want to talk to you about habits stacking. Have you ever thought about what is really habit stacking? What is it? how you can learn that habit next to a habit that you have already developed or things that maybe you started doing or think about things that you wanted to start doing. Maybe a workout, maybe a better food eating, maybe certain time of the day you need to apply something or change something. Maybe you thought about stopping something that you've been doing and you don't really know how to go about it how to start, where to go. Think about these things. Is there anything in your life that you really wanted to start or maybe stop? A small little habit. And I'm going to give you some examples and it might, you know, turn on that green light and say, okay, I know what she's talking about. What is this? So I'm going to give you an example. Hi, Tricia. Hello, Victoria. All right. I have you guys on Facebook. This is awesome. We are, we are also on on uh, on zoom as well so you can click on the link as well and join us if not that's fine so i'm going to give you an I, idea of habit stacking so i have been doing i will give you just an idea i think of it how this can apply to you so i've been doing my pre-workouts always 30 minutes before my session it's on the clock if i would have a call right now with you and at 2 p.m I would have to work out my time. I would have the pre-workout ready and exactly 30 minutes before the session, I would start drinking it because it's already a habit of me. I developed this for, for conscious mind doing this every single day before the workout. I scheduled in the beginning on my schedule first and then my phone would go off and that's how I learn it. But now here comes the next thing. I had to learn to add specific things into my workout. That was a new 
uh, I had to learn to add certain things to my pre-workout because I never used to have it. There were special vitamins that I had to do. I'm just giving you an example. So how did I do the habit stacking? I already knew that I had a pre-workout. But I had to add these specific vitamins into it that I've never done it. The doctor prescribed me. I had to learn to take them. And I knew it that I have to do this into my pre-workout because I would never have a chance to do it with any other day or any other time. I had to do it. So I placed them exactly where my other pre-workouts, powders, and other things were at the beginning. So I would know that they have to go with it. And this is how you do habit stacking. So I want you right now to think. What is it in your life that you constantly catching yourself forgetting, like a habit that you want to develop? Maybe you're getting up in the morning and you wanted to start doing, I don't know, a meditation. How would you start? How would you go about? You're already getting up. Maybe you're already doing a workout, but you wanted to have extra time for meditation. First of all, you need to set up the clock to go a little bit earlier and don't start with a complicated meditation for 20, 30 minutes. That's too long. New habits have to be easy and they have to be quick. They have to be easy accessible. Get up, set up the time, get up and do two minutes meditation. Don't do 10 or 20 minutes. That's how you start. It has to be easy. So again, what is, you can, you can make up maybe comments of something that maybe you've been doing and you want to stop. Maybe there is, I will give you an example. I have, since I do a lot of coaching, I have a lot of clients that we do one-on-one coaching, uh, guiding. I have a, a client that has been, anytime she would make a dinner, she would constant, constantly snack on things that she makes for dinner. She constantly would do that. And she would have to make a, literally before she would start making the dinner, make a conscious effort saying, you know, I am not going to snack anything. I am not going to try anything. She replaced this with drinking water instead. So there are certain things when you come approach certain things that you're not going to do this. You have to make a conscious decision and maybe replace something with it. Now, also think about, think about something that a new habit that you've had and you wanted to start. If, if something was complicated, would you do it? If something was so complicated to start, you're not going to do this. Why? Because it calls you traction. It calls you something that it's, it's so difficult. It's so hard to implement in your daily life. That's why, for instance, people, when they start to um, doing a post-workout shake, the shake should be easy accessible should be right on the counter after the workout, should not include 10 ingredients because you're not going to do this. Your blender should not be hiding behind clutter of stuff at your kitchen. It should be on the counter, easy, accessible, simple water and shake, right? And that's what it is. So think about it. Like, what are the things right now in your life that you wanted to start? Make a comment, write it down. I would love to hear from you. What is it that you might be wanted to add to something? We talk about meditation. We talk about, you know, you can apply the post-protein shake, right? Post-workout, post-workout protein shake. Maybe you want to stop a habit. What is it? Ida, if you have anything, anything that comes to your mind, make it post in the chat so it's not only for me, but maybe for other particip participants later. Trisha, Victoria, Victoria is watching. Victoria, what is it that you maybe been doing and you want to stop? Or maybe you wanted to implement some habit. Some habit. Maybe I know that you're busy mom. You have four kids, beautiful kids. Uh, Trisha, you are a, a busy mom as well. So what are the things that you're thinking, okay, I need to start or I need to stop or I need to develop? The habit stacking. So what is really the habit stacking? How would you describe this? It's something that is already existing and you stacking on top of the existing habit. It's something very simple. You know, as simple as I, I tell you, I have certain reactions in me. Like I, in the morning when I drop the kids from school, I finish, I go upstairs and I start making my bed. The moment that I walk into my room, 
it's automatic response to start and fixing the bed. Ita, for years I needed, hold on, I'm going to teach, I'm going to read that chat here so everybody will know. Uh, okay, for years I needed cake, chocolate to my coffee in the morning. I was able to completely stop uh, that once I start eating healthy. Yes, you, but hold up, but that was a process. That was a process that you developed. Correct? Yes, definitely. So, yeah. so did you, the, with that coffee, when you, just tell me in the beginning, when you were drinking coffee, was it like that urge, almost like you would feel your saliva going, oh my God, I need that kick, right? For sure. It, exactly. For sure. That was a habit that you were already, because you've done it for so many years, your body become accustomed to coffee and the cake. But now you start exercising, eating healthy, but did you replace that cake with maybe something different, like a protein bar, or maybe eating something in place? What happened? Um, I did not replace it with anything. Okay. Sometimes I would have a protein bar, but okay. even with the bars, I find that it's very difficult for me to stop after one. And I'd rather not start than go through the struggle of craving more. Okay, so you are like a white and black. It worked for you better to just yeah. give up and stop, yeah. which is fine. Yeah. But she had to make that conscious decision about I will drink coffee and not have a cake with it. So look, look around your life. Sometimes I have to tell you, it happened to me so many times and I'm guilty of it. Like I gave you an even example of the client that was uh, making dinner and snacking or picking food. And out of nowhere, you realize, you realize at the end of making dinner that you ate a half of the dinner and you're not hungry even, right? We, we've done things like this because you became a habit of doing these things, not even thinking about it. So how are we gonna, it's, we have to be more aware of things, first of all, because we go through the motions. We don't even realize. Trisha is saying that she has to, she goes so much on her phone that it's, it's first of all, is the destruction. And then it becomes such a habit that when you don't do it, it's almost when the phone is down, you become, oh my God, I have an urge to go on my phone, right? So again, making a silent putting it on the on the side and having undistracted undistracted attention to what she's doing literally i put my phone i put it in my purse i put it away i did it don't even put it on my desk when i do the work in the morning i try to stay and say you know what i am focused i blocked the time for an hour for instance i'm working on my new workouts for this week and i'm not looking at my phone I'm not chatting. I'm not responding because you know what? One response will lead you to checking other messages, going on Instagram, going on Facebook, going and jumping through all these sites. You look at the clock and it's like out of nowhere, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, right? So what habit stacking do you think right now you need to do? Something that you've done it, you, 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 you have done it, but you need to add on. You have to add on to something that it's easy. What about drinking shakes? That's, I know that you probably do the post-workout shake, Ita, but does many of you do the post-workout shake? Maybe something that you have not been doing, doing a workout and never doing a recovery. So you're going to associate it workout, finish the workout with post-recovery shake, maybe have it ready, have it ready right after the workout so you can jump into drinking it. Or maybe not snacking throughout the uh, making dinner. Or maybe at the end of the day, uh, making fun out of things too. So I will give you an example before I'm going to read another note. At the end of the day, our family um, have shakes, right? The whole family. And we just came up with that funny saying from Ivanka starting. Are there going to be any shakes tonight? And everybody's screaming. Are there gonna be any shakes tonight? And it became like a signal for me that it's time to make the shakes. The Eckert family is gonna be drinking shakes and all of us drinking the shakes. But going at nighttime, for instance, going to sleep, 
we fall asleep with meditation guys i have to tell you ladies really because there's like mostly ladies here don't if you are a guy and watching the show good for you <laughs> but yeah i say the ladies we are falling asleep on doing the meditation and how did it start it didn't start it from 20 minutes it started from short five minutes broadcast of just going on the phone now the kids do that in their own room when i set up my phone for them and everybody are out like this so starting short having no distractions being focused falling asleep and i have to tell you works wonders the guy just andy puts me down to sleep like nothing i go to sleep and i have no distraction in sleep so again it's a ritual and we create those rituals right that's why habits are such a we can talk about this for days probably and we wouldn't even finish and i know that a lot of times you're coming here because we wanted to adapt that no excuses mindset we wanted to be like okay how i can have the no excuses mindset with my habits what can i do to make it better today to learn new habits learn what you've which habit first of all find out today which habit is bad for you which habit is bad for you for me was a lot of times i would i would not even think and i would just grab something when i'm not even hungry so what are you doing throughout the day maybe it's the phone well uh, ita doesn't doesn't eat her cake anymore because she's all um a pig, 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 pig freak fanatic but maybe you get so distracted and do it all these other things throughout the day that you shouldn't be doing those are things on your schedule daily that happened so i'm gonna read another person i also try to do more beneficial stuff like research or learning games awesome that's that's a great point right instead of doing the phone so she replaced one thing into the next and this is a great idea but what is it today that you need to add additionally to your daily routine what is it i would love to hear from you i have some other examples that i actually even um wrote here so you have an uh, you have an idea like i also realized think about it when somebody is trying to eat healthy right they already know that they have to eat healthy but if they go to the kitchen and start thinking that they have to uh, cook all the vegetables prepare everything that's why sometimes maybe going for frozen veggies that you put it in the microwave setting up quick and easy right so it's easy accessible it's easy for us to do it's not complicated but yet created the good habit right what else would that be what would that be what about reading books that's i know that some of you reading books i know that um kristen is reading a lot of books uh Ita, do you read a lot of a lot of books i do read um i'm still struggling with the sitting down on the couch wa want to watch tv want to watch a movie i'm still struggling with that not grabbing a bag of chips or a bag of popcorn and i know we spoke about this months back about making um you know shakes uh, in, in the ice cube tray or um with a beverage mix so you have something to suck on something to keep you busy it's not enough for me i've tried it so like that is a real struggle for me and mm -hmm. i what i realized is that 10 days could go by and the tv screen is not turned on even once exactly for this reason because if i know that i make myself very comfortable on the couch and i'm gonna turn you know i'm gonna scroll through some movies and i'm gonna watch something it means grabbing that bag of pretzels or popcorn or chips or whatever it is that you really want and as you said before, I have a very hard time in to eat in moderation. It's either you eat something very healthy and you can have all of it, or don't even give me a drop of it because it's this is my big point. I don't know where and when to stop. Yes. So that is a huge battle. Yes, yes. And I'm sure that it's a battle for many because it's association of things. And Ita, it takes a it takes a while. It takes a while because first of all, we wanna change association with watching the movie and binging or eating unhealthy replacing doing other things but also you want to be able to 
like watch that movie without a distraction sometimes even snacking or anything maybe just watching a movie right but so yeah, but your mind was eating you yes. didn't even realize that you're eating you're eating and eating and eating and eating non-stop and like suddenly you you realize that you had 15 cups of popcorn instead of having just one or two exactly yes yes so uh, this this takes a while but did you try doing the shakes did you try actually sitting down and drinking the shake sipping it slowly making a thick shake and trying like this and and watching a movie was this yeah but i love the shake so much that when i'm done i'm like now what now what can I have another one should i go get another shake i have that thing in me that it must be a habit from years ago that relaxing on the couch cannot just be relaxing so I got myself sugar-free Ricola candies or sugar-free gum or something to keep me chewing because I don't want to eat all those calories. It's association, again, it's yes. A, it's a big struggle. It is, and I know that it is. And Trisha is actually responding. When I snack, I don't sit with the whole bag. I take a certain amount, two cookies, or measuring out of weighing the snacks my fitness pal is awesome too yes yes thank you so much yes fitness That's a pal, great idea fitness pal is is awesome because sometimes looking at it and seeing oh how much i'm gonna eat uh, gives you that wow this is gonna be that much calories or maybe uh, like she said getting a small bag we were saying yes do the shakes fill yourself up on the shakes because that's what we've been doing but i also realized that it has to happen the good dinner has to happen because if not enough calories have been delivered throughout the day remember this your body will try to pick up the calories lost that you didn't deliver and you want to overeat at night time and this is a struggle for for all of us but when you mention that you're trying to do more reading so what we've uh, what we've decided what we've de what we've done with our family is a family reading time when we specifically put it time on the schedule and the whole family is reading at the same time would you I, I, I I'm not sure if your if your son would be around or you are by yourself if you have a friend or if you would be doing this by yourself but sometimes I've realized that reading when I know that my whole family is reading it actually motivates me more to do the same because it's like a pack right all of us doing the same thing right and it's kind of cool and that's how we started so how about starting with just once a week 30 minutes put it on the schedule and say this is my time i am sit down and i'm gonna read i'm not gonna be doing anything else just start with once a week remember simple easy not too much maybe even not half an hour maybe 15 minutes you need to start on and that one day will become eventually a habit you're gonna think oh monday i am reading it's gonna signal that those are the things that you do I put my I like shakes that. in the freezer. I do the truly chocolate with almond milk and water, and it's so good. Tastes like a fudge pop. Yes, we've been freezing ours too, so we're not alone. This sounds awesome. We've been doing the frozen, frozen pops. And look, if you're going to have extra protein, it's not going to hurt you. I think all of us have this. We, 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 we have that urge unless somebody is really strict and they can go, okay, I'm done. I'm not going to be doing this anymore. But what I've realized is also think like this. You're relaxing in a couch. You want to watch a movie. Those are association with things. We learn those things. Those are habits implemented by us. No one ever told you that with, with watching a movie, you need to eat. We've learned this on our own, right? We develop these things. So the way, the same way as you develop these things, you can undo them that's the power of human mind and and i know this we can do this because it but again it's consistency you have to keep on repeating the same thing you have to learn this new habit it's gonna take a while and you have to be patient as we say it takes a while but being cautious and saying you know what i am not gonna do this this is what i'm gonna do prepare freeze do the pops drink that shake and support yourself so uh, talking about also reading books uh, have any of you do the audible when you cook dinner and you listen to the podcast or listen to the book have you ever done this 
I know sometimes that if it's an easy podcast, this is like easy to do. However, if you want to learn something, I've realized that undivided intention, like when I sit and I take a notebook and I make notes, it's the best way when I actually listen to read or read the book. Listen, because then I have to stop and make a note because it sits in me a little bit better, right? But listening to podcasts, concentrating on gets your mind uh, way yes and Kristen is saying she's drive she drives and she listens and this is another way we've done it uh, very good yes yeah, similar way when you drive when you drive listen to the podcast have the audible have the script download the books have it ready the moment that you sit in a car and you can do this okay and sometimes she listens or read later I have to tell you I cannot read too late I'll read two sentences. I am down. <laughs> I am down going to sleep. Cannot do this anymore. But if you can, if you are a late night reader, maybe this will be a way for you to go to sleep too. You got to find that magic time. You got to find that magic moment. You got to find the moment that it really works for you. But ladies, look, we all came here to learn from another, to kind of support one another, to have a no excuses mindset. Uh, have that fit, fit, um, uh, I would say fit approach to life, right? Fit habits and learning this and being aware what others do, what you do, how you can do these things, learn from one another, take what the girl said, apply, try applying because it will be something that will take time and, and change and requires change. So if you have any questions, please post them. If not, today we're going to finish a little bit earlier, but I just wanted to invite you for the next week. We're going to schedule exactly the time for next week. We're going to have that before Christmas kind of show. I'm going to reveal the... Uh, the, the guest, it's going to be pretty funny. So I, I hope, I hope that you can join and I would love for you to actually join on zoom. So if you celebrating Christmas, wear something Christmassy, maybe a dress, maybe a sweater, maybe a hat. It's going to be on Wednesday. If you do not celebrate Christmas, but you celebrate other holidays, maybe bring something that is very important to you and represents your tradition. Have it. And so we can see you. I love life. Facebook live, but I, I cannot see your face and I, I would love to see you. So we are always live on zoom. So you can kind actually come on board and talk and share your, your experiences. And I see that Ita went from, from zoom here, which is great. Ita, thank you so much for coming girls. Thank you so much for coming. Now, if again, you watching it later, Make comments. I will see them later. I can respond to you. Maybe there is something that you really have a difficult time starting. And I would love to see you. Yay. Awesome. Trisha will come on board with us. This is fantastic. Can't wait. This is awesome. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank you for applying the no excuses mindset. Thank you for trying to stay fit and always taking care of yourself, putting yourself first. Nothing selfish about it but will make you create a better habit, make you a better mom, better wife, better girlfriend, better human being, right? We need to take care of ourselves and the health is priority. That's why I created this page. We need to take care of, of ourselves. Thank you so much. And I will talk to you next week and have a no excuses week. And again, post the comments if you have any. And Ivanka is here with me. You are a no excuses lady. <laughs> All right, girls. Talk to you soon. Bye.